Hey guys, Steve Holbrook here. Welcome to my blog. Today what I want to talk about is one of my favorite strategies for a mental tweak. One of my favorite strategies for a mental tweak is giving myself permission to hit the reset button. See, I see people all the time, they feel stuck in their life and I believe one of the reasons they feel stuck in their life is because they stopped doing the things they did to become successful to become happy, to fall in love. It happens in our faith, it could happen in our fitness, our finances, our business, and there's many reasons why this happens. But here's my philosophy. You have to be able to give yourself permission to hit the mental reset button. Because if you don't, you'll never create the space in your mind that you need to get things going again. You'll always be preoccupied with what hasn't happened or why you're not winning or why you can't lose weight. Look, I get it. You're not where you wanna be. Neither am I, but it's a journey. It's okay to be stuck. It's just not okay to stay stuck. You got to get in a hurry to start taking the steps towards your new identity. Most of the people that I see winning in my life are people that have accepted the past. They're cherishing the present, but they're speaking the future. And I'm not saying forget about where you came from. What I'm saying is that the things that have happened to you in your life, don't let those things define you. Let them shape you. Stop identifying with your past, right? Stop holding yourself back. It's not serving you. Most humans continue to play the old story in their mind, uh, the old story about who they used to be and who they were and where they came from. And they think that people will always, will always see them like that because they always see themselves like that. But that's not true, right? It's not true. Understand that there'll never be a better time for you to give yourself a fresh start than right now. And I know that when I get stuck, there's three things that I have to get clarity on. And I want you to focus on these three things. Number one is clarity of purpose. Why do I need to get out of this rut? What are my compelling reasons that are gonna help me get from where I am today to where I need to be? Number two, what's my clarity of aim? What specifically do I need to start doing right now again that I stopped doing nine months ago, I stopped doing 18 months ago to be successful, and I gotta get back doing those things? And number three, what's my clarity of plan? What's my specific action plan that I'm gonna do on a daily basis? What are the habits that I need to start doing again to get back on track? Because if I'm leaving this thing up to emotions and how I'm feeling about myself, I'm never gonna get this thing done. And can you imagine if you started to master the game of, and, and giving yourself permission to hit the reset button and the next time that your life started to feel out of control, you hit that button, you gave yourself permission to have a fresh start and you got some clarity in those three areas, what you would start to see is you'd start to see your world open back up and how that would make you feel as a person is unbelievable. So keep it going, we'll see you soon.